I mean, it's an amazing transformation of a brand over the last 15 years, and I think uh, Christopher and his whole team should be incredibly proud of uh, the success that they've got. It's a brand worthy of such an event, and uh, I'm incredibly proud to come from the small island that, that this brand comes from. I was looking to seeing how everyone just loves the show. It's a beautiful show, and I mean, the clothes are amazing, and just the response, and just the welcome. Everyone's been so great. Welcome to LA. Yeah, yeah. Miss Delaby, right here in the corner. It's amazing to be in LA for this. It's really, really amazing. Um, I'm sure it'll be a lot of music, fashion, all mixed together. What does Papua bring to LA? Everything that's great about being British. I think it just brings their uniqueness to it. You know, the mix of technology, you know, musical passion. I don't know what the surprises are, so we'll see. Well, I think Britishness in America is all about Burberry. You know, I think they've managed to corner the British market abroad, you know, like the British image taken abroad in a, in a way that nobody's ever managed to do it before. You know, I, I live here and I've seen this before, but I've never quite seen the approach look as magnificent as it does tonight. I'm a big fan of Christopher's and Burberry. I've been wearing his suits for uh, a, a decade or more and uh, just was excited to put one on tonight and come see the fashion. I've only been to one before in London and it was the most beautiful setting. Um, something a bit different, I think. Something a bit edgy and, and always celebrating everything British. So. I mean, I'm a huge fan of the brand and uh, Christopher Bailey's and I've never, having lived in LA for so long, I've never actually been up to the observatory. So it's a very enticing invitation. Over the shoulder, sweetheart, more kids. It's so nice to drive up and see these flags hanging down. And, uh, it's, uh, it's always a part of something very special with Burberry, so. Sort of always very young and fun and creative and very English. And, um, I think that he really um, has taken a very classic, traditional house and made it something that young girls all over the world want to wear and young men. So looking forward to tonight. Something really uh, something exciting, I guess. Yeah. I love Beverly. It's more like um, you can really show your own personality. I have no idea what to expect actually. I expect a lot of Britishness, which is why I'm here. I apply the flag, I'm a great Briton in LA. I live in LA, so it's um, it's a real treat that um, Burberry brings to the game. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing the collection in person. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing Christopher as well. I haven't seen him in a while. I'm actually really looking forward to catching I'm so uh, lucky to be in town, I don't live in LA, so I felt it's just beautiful. The brand is so iconic and bringing it to a place like LA gives it a bit of class too. It gives LA a bit of class. <laughs> uh, that was like the most incredible spectacle ever. I love this idea. I love this event and I am super excited to be, to be a part of it. I'm very, very flattered. It feels good to be British in Los Angeles tonight. For sure. The last one on your left. Angelica! Hey, Johnny on the corner, Ricky! Again, one more, one more! Adrian on the corner, If you
You know, tonight what we wanted to do was bring a little bit of London to uh, Los Angeles and we wanted to mix uh, music and fashion and something very contemporary with something very, very traditional. Uh, we wanted to bring something humorous, so James Corden uh, joined us in the show and we wanted something very, very British and very, very traditional. And so we were very privileged to be able to have the Grenadier Guards join us tonight as well. You know, we wanted to bring uh, a little bit of Britishness and Burberry to, to LA. We uh, have just opened a store on Rodeo Drive, a magnificent location uh, on Rodeo. Um, and tonight was really about celebrating that store and the teams that, uh, that, that created that store. You know, London and LA are not so different um, in, in the sense of they both have very, very big creative hearts. Um, there's, there's a very big thriving uh, art culture here, the same as in, in London, a very big fashion um, uh, uh, community, um, as well as great architecture, great food, and of course incredible music comes out of LA and, and London.